Join Greg on his exclusive story on the Cheek of It 69 Real Lives. Some people think I look scary when I smile. I don't think so. What do you think? Just normal to me. Greg's just an ordinary guy from Manchester in England. So, Greg, uh, what first interested you in tanning, and what made you want to be the, the way you are today? Well, to be honest, it started for me, first of all, when I was a child. I saw Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, and as soon as I saw it, I thought, one day, that's going to be me. I'm going to take Oompa Loompas to the next stage. And that was the first time I ever really thought about tanning. So, when did you finally make the transition to the way you are as you appear today? Yeah, then it must have been about, I don't know, 15 years later. I saw the advert, you know the one, the drink, tango. You know when you've been tangoed. And that was what finally lit a fire in my heart, really, for tanning. I turned to my mum one evening, I said, Mum, you watch, that's going to be me one day. Yeah, and look at me now, Mum. Look at me now. And that was really when the passion started. So Greg, I noticed you come round to a family member's house today. What brings you here? Any particular yeah, reason? Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, I come round to my sisters to try to go cold turkey. Since my home sunbed broke, a few months ago, it's been tough. It's £15 an hour now for some beds, and everyone is struggling nowadays with money. What I do is a cheap solution, but it's not a long-term fix. I turn the cooker on, and I can get a quick, good tan, and it really does the Greg? job. Yes? Greg, you're not cooking? No, I'm just cooking some food. All right. This always happens. I'm going to have to sort it. This was the worst moment of Greg's life. Two weeks. Oh, you are burning up. Let me get you a wet towel. Yeah, make it a nice warm one. I might get some towel. In my chart. Oh, oh, just some time. No! Now, after that ordeal, let's see where Greg is in his life today. That was me last month. It's amazing with addiction sometimes what type of right you can get stuck in. I was stuck in that life for many, many years, but we all fight it in the end. I've been doing great since. They've even taken away the plug off of my lamp, so I can't use it more to get any tan. But to be honest, I'm well past that stage now. I've been saving on money, my life's improving. I mean, don't get me wrong, the same with all addictions. I do have a bit of a dabble now and then, like we all do. That's why I keep this. Uh, sometimes you just can't beat them. You've got to rejoin them. Fantastic. Feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure 